All right, so right now we're talking about four bitter truths about dating women over 30 that nobody ever talks about that we need to talk about in tonight's coaching video because nobody else is gonna tell you this this kind of stuff except for a professional pickup artist so let's crack right into this guys so what is the first bitter truth about dating a female who is still single in her 30s right first bitter truth is when you date these girls, you will notice very quickly that they are carrying a lot of emotional baggage. A lot of these women are carrying a ton of bitterness, resentment, anger, and hatred towards all of those other guys that she accumulated from all those other guys that she dated before she met you, okay? All those guys that cheated on her, flaked on her, used her for sex, ghosted her, never returned her texts on time, never settled down with her. All those experiences she had throughout her 20s, um, all that emotional baggage she's accumulated is now going to become your emotional baggage, okay? You are gonna now have to deal with that stuff. Hey, anytime she acts out or starts like throwing a hissy fit or starts acting prissy, you know that's coming from all of that emotional baggage that uh, she is carrying from riding the carousel throughout her 20s. Okay, so that is the first bitter truth that nobody talks about when it comes to dating women who are over the age of 30 and God forbid over the age of 40 and 50. These women are carrying a lot of emotional baggage. No matter how hot they still look, how attractive they still are, how much they've kept their, their bodies up, there's a reason why we call them the DG on this channel, okay? The DG, right? The reason why we call them the DG, okay? And this is why I try to hammer into the heads of all my female subscribers that are still in their 20s, right? The few that we have and uh, as well as my own family members and all, my own siblings that are female, my sisters, right? I told them over and over in your 20s, that is the time to take advantage of your physical prime, physical attractiveness prime, and lock down the highest value male you can. Otherwise, if you don't do that, ladies, you are going to end up, by default, riding that carousel and gaining more and more of these bad experiences with men who are going to just use and abuse you and take advantage of the fact that you're willing to ride the carousel and you're letting them on. So that is the first bitter truth about dating a woman who is over the age of 30. The second bitter truth about dating a woman over 30 and beyond is that woman is going to tend to be a lot more masculine, okay, than women who are younger. Because as I've taught you guys, the older a woman gets, the more masculine she gets, the more boisterous she gets, the more kind of obnoxious she gets too, if she's still single, right? Not all, but most. So, when you're dealing with women who are over the age of 30, over the age of 40 and 50, just understand that chick is gonna be much more masculine than she was just 10 years earlier, 20 years earlier, 30 years earlier, right? She's going to tend to be just a bit more masculine. And this is why sometimes some of these chicks end up growing like mustaches and stuff like that. I mean, not literally, but they start to get like a little stash going that, you know, they have to do that laser treatment where they get rid of that. You know why that's happening? Too much testosterone, ladies. Not enough estrogen, okay? Because when you have estrogen, it's pretty hard to grow hair. You're not gonna get all this. Not gonna get that, right? Gotta act as feminine as you can. I've noticed that too. I mean, I'm sure like some uh, doctors will probably try to challenge me on this, but that is what I've noticed from when, when, women I've dated, even the ones who've gotten older. The ones who have remained feminine still look pretty feminine. They don't really have hair growing out up here or on their chin or anything like that, right? They've continued to remain 
feminine. So that is the second bitter truth that nobody talks about, about dating women over the age of 30, is they tend to be more masculine. They tend to get more masculine. And the longer that chick stays single, the more masculine she becomes. All right, the third bitter truth about dating women over 30 that nobody will ever tell you except for me is that many of these women who are still single and over the age of 30 are actually on antidepressants. And you could look at the statistics yourself if you want to really get freaked out and see how high it is, right? You can see how many of these women are actually on these antidepressants. It's pretty scary how they're on, um, they're taking these meds. They're usually also seeing a therapist, a psychologist, right? And uh, so you really have to, <laughs> you really have to pay attention to that. All right, this person in my rear view is filming. It's always, always kind of challenging to uh, shoot videos in this, uh, in my DeLorean because it just gets so much attention. It's insane. I go out with my buddy in his Lambo. My buddy has a, has a, I think it's like a 2015 Lambo. I forget which one he has, but uh, I go out with him sometimes and like he's just amazed. He's always amazed when he rides with me and he's like, Dude, I think I bought the wrong car. <laughs> it's like this car gets like a thousand times more attention than mine does. So it's always funny. But in any case, back to the topic. Uh, yeah, that is the third bitter truth that nobody's ever going to tell you when you date women over 30, guys. These chicks are going to be on antidepressants. These chicks are going to be seeing a therapist, a psychologist. Okay? Do you want to be dating somebody who has psychological issues? or who's taking medications because they're not mentally sane? I don't. And the fourth and final bitter truth about dating women over 30 that nobody talks about is this, and it's probably the most important truth, guys, is that many of these women who are still single and over the age of 30 are in fact single moms right? They become single mothers, which means they have a child at home and sometimes multiple children from multiple different fathers. You don't want to be dealing with that, especially if you are a high value man on his path and purpose, or even if you're a young man on his path and purpose and you believe in yourself that you're going to become something one day, you do not want to hook up with this single mom, okay? You don't want to hook up with this chick. She's already proven that she makes piss poor decisions. She, she already, she's already proven she doesn't care about anyone but herself, right? That's why she had this child out of wedlock. A lot of these girls are like, oh, it's an accident, it's an accident. It's like, no, nah, it wasn't really an accident. You know, you just didn't take precautions. And even if it was an accident, how come you didn't marry that guy? Why didn't you marry him? Oh, because he was an abuser. Oh, because he's a drug addict. Oh, because you don't, you, you don't, it turned out you don't like him as much as you thought you did, right? So what does that prove? It just proves that you have a bad picker, right? You make bad decisions. You don't vet these guys that you let have sex with you and impregnate you. You have short-term thinking. You can't be trusted to make good quality decisions in your life, which means that I should stay the fuck away from you because I don't want you coming into my life, you single mom with multiple kids from multiple different fathers and ruining my shit, right? No, I don't think so. But will the mainstream media ever tell you this? Will late night talk show hosts like Jimmy Fallon or Trevor Noah or anybody like that, Jimmy Kimmel, will these guys ever tell you the stuff? No, they're never gonna tell you this. Why? Because they'll get canceled, right? Because they can't say these things. Most of these guys are in fact pretty beta, okay? Pretty beta. And they're never gonna tell you this stuff. They're never gonna tell you that, hey, if you're going after these low-hanging fruits, these chicks who are still single, over 30, that a lot of them are going to happen to be single moms, which means you're gonna have to take on the responsibility that another man left behind, <laughs> right? You're gonna have to take on the financial responsibility, the emotional responsibility of that another man left behind. 
You're gonna have to deal with that kid when he starts acting out as a teenager. Once he hits his teenage years, man, look out, man. That boy is gonna come right after you. This is why I tell you guys, don't bother with these single moms. Just don't. Those are my four bitter truths about dating women who are over the age of 30 that are still single, okay? Just don't do it, guys, right? Just don't do it. Take it from me, because nobody else is gonna tell you this, are they? Right? Nobody's gonna tell you the truth, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. Professional pickup artists will tell you the truth. And with that said, I'm gonna wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets, signing out here from the DeLorean as I make that glorious U-turn. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash right now. Also, hit the notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton when you guys actually subscribe. It tells YouTube you're loving my coaching videos, you're digging it, you're feeling it, and you want me to produce more of them. So please make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well. And for all you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I am teaching you even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens. Same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world are out there approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making things happen every single week all over the world, in every country in the world practically. We're making things happen regardless of any racial division going on, any virus going on, any pandemic going on, any lockdowns. We are constantly making things happen and we're continuing to live our lives. And you know what? I want you to become one of us. I want you to join us. And best of all, this is the absolute best way to support my work, right? Is by jumping into seven months to mastery. And it's really easy to sign up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds and it's only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons, right? Who can't afford a dollar? Take advantage of it. Click that link below. Head over to my website, get signed up right now, and I will see you in there. And until next time, see you in the next coaching video. Car drives like it's brand new. It's insane. 9,000 original miles. Woo!